machinists were the first union to step up and support me when very few people expected me to win this election. Eleven years later, we are still the best of friends, and I am still very grateful to the machinists, not only for their support, but their support for thousands and thousands of working men and women in the Las Vegas Valley and the state of Nevada who are members of the Machinist Union. We are strong, we are united, and we fight for the rights of our workers. And that, to me, is the most important thing that the machinists do, although they do so much more. I'm very proud to represent 33,000 members of the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers. And I'm fighting for the issues that are important to hardworking New Yorkers and all of your membership across America. I want to thank IAM members for all the efforts that you perform each and every day. The work that you do keeps our transportation infrastructure and equipment in top shape and allow e it allows everyone in this nation to travel safely. Moreover, the commerce of our country would not function properly without your members. Your work literally drives our nation's economy. The work that you do is like no other. Your effort to secure the American dream for all union members is truly admirable. During my years as a high school and college student, I was very proud to be a member of the United Food and Commercial Workers Union. As a member of the workers' union, I felt protected and grateful to know that my fellow union members were working diligently to protect all employees' rights. And during my time in the Congress, I have seen the positive impact that organized labor has had on the lives of workers around the country. And I am proud that labor unions are always first in line to stand up and to demand equality and dignity. You work day in and day out to help get people and goods to the places where they need to go. America's labor movement has a long and proud history in our country, making our economy stronger and defending our working families, and I'm honored that I've been able to work closely with you since coming to the United States Senate. Last year, when we heard about the merger of Northwest and Delta, we immediately got to work to protect our workers. I pushed their CEO to commit to preserve as many jobs as possible. I said then, and I have said since, that these CEOs should consider the interests of Main Street and our Main Street workers, as well as Wall Street and the Wall Street workers. Now that the airlines have merged, we need to continue to fight to make sure these workers have a fair and level playing field.